Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSR results are out and probably you have already seen the cutoff this time went very high, especially I'm talking about chemical sciences here and there are certain things which are concerning and which which you know which are alarming and I'm here to talk about them. I'm I'm going to talk about certain reasons which I believe that's why the cutoff went high and you should know about it because if you are preparing for this exam and if you have scored let's say some marks near to the cutoff and you are not able to clear it up you should know and you should also know uh, if you are preparing if you are going to prepare for the next time okay at the end of, of this video there is a message you can say a request you can say whatever you can call it to all the students who are giving this exam okay so stay tuned for that part as well so uh, let me first of all explain you that how the cutoff is decided okay how a cutoff of a particular exam is decided just it's it's like let's take example of it let's say that a exam is of 10 marks total marks are 10 and let's say that there are five students who have given this exam okay and these five students have got marks nine the one uh, person one has got nine marks person two has got 8.5 marks person three has got eight marks person four has got um, 7.5 marks person uh, 5 has got 6 marks something like that okay so I'm just taking random marks just to explain you and just to make it simple I've just taken 5 as example you can make it big according to the scale of CSI net exam so let's say I only have two seats for JRF okay let's say I'm the organizing committee and I only have two seats for JRF so I'll try to make the cutoff in such a way that uh, the only the person who has got 9 marks and the one who has got 8.5 marks are above the cutoff. So I'll make cutoff around 8.25, okay? So that the person who has got 8 marks or 7 marks or 6 marks, they do not fall in, or they do not cross the cutoff and like I will be getting 2 students who are in above the cutoff and that many seats I have, okay? So that means uh, a cutoff is decided based upon uh, how many seats are there, right? That's the first factor. And the second major factor is that how many students have got good marks or how many of them have got higher marks okay so this time the cutoff went high the first reason you already know seats has been decreased in case if you are not aware about it i have made a detailed video on that that why seat has been decreased or like uh, like what has actually happened uh, regarding this so i'll i'll print that video in the i button you can watch that okay so regarding seat i have already covered like the seat has been decreased on all the other steps but the second reason is that many students have got good marks. Now, I'm really happy for that, okay? Uh, but on the other hand, I'm also concerned because the exam was not this much easy that it like, of course, it would be easy for many students because many of them are studying hard for it and they are preparing hard for it. And I'm super happy for everyone who has qualified this. But for any healthy exam, you can say, or for any competitive exam, it's not good that the cutoff is going roughly around 60% of it, okay? That just so shows that the exam either is very easy, the level of questions are very easy, or the number of seats are less that we have already seen. But one reason which, which I believe is there that is that comes with the repetitive students, okay? Now, this is totally my opinion. You might differ on this. There are many students or I might get bashed from many students. I know that, but I just want to say this, okay? See, um, when we prepare for exam for the first time, when you have never got qualified this exam, you are preparing for it. You are desperate to get that, okay? Because you know that, that if I qualify JRF, my life in PhD will be easier. I'll be getting fellowship and all the other stuff, right? Once a person gets JRF, Okay, not everyone, but many of them, they appear for the exam again. I don't know why. Okay, let's say if they got All India rank 90 or All India rank 70, they sit for the exam to get a better rank probably. Then let's say they got a rank 40 or something, then they again sit for the exam to get a better rank. Let me be very clear, I have telling this thing many times, rank in JRF does not matter. If your rank is All India rank 10 or if your rank is All India rank 100, you both are going to get equal amount of fellowship there. You cannot have any difference over there. Yes, rank matters in gate, but not in CSIR net. 
So just giving this exam multiple number of times to improve your rank is not going to help you at all. And even you can't mention in your CV or it doesn't matter much on your CV. If you will write down that I was all India rank 10 in JRF or something, I don't, I have never seen somebody paying attention to that. Okay, you are JRF, that's all. If you sit for assistant professor uh, like position or if you sit for an interview for assistant professor, they just want to know that whether you are JRF or not. If you are JRF, you will get some marks for that. If you are not JRF, you will not get marks for that. It does not matter what your rank is in JRF. Okay. So that's why. That is something which I want to make very clear and I want every one of you to know this that the rank in CSIR JRF does not matter. Okay. Yet some people might say that there is a SPM fellowship which is given to top rankers. And for that you might be achieve you might be you know looking for rank one in JRF in all India rank one that is given only to one student or two or three seats are there per subject even one seat is not uh, like dedicated it's like from all the subjects they give four or five uh, like people this SPM fellowship so uh, like getting rank one and then even rank one every year does not get that SPM fellowship. Okay, so if you're targeting that, that's totally different thing. But I will suggest that please, if you have qualified JRF, don't sit for the exam again and don't give that exam again. See, we as a teacher, we go to the exam, but we don't like I am telling about myself. I have given the last exam and I have not marked any single question in chemical sciences, not because I don't know this okay i i understand the concept i can solve questions but that's because i don't want to be the part of competition with my students themselves right i have of course like i like section a so i have given full time to section a and and solve question in the exam also only for part a but i know that that marks is not going to make me qualify the exam i have just given it for my fun okay and just to know the question well to understand the things because i i like aptitude uh, doing aptitude questions but in the chemistry part, I have not marked any mark, any question. But I have seen people after results, they are posting it about it that third time I got JRF or second time I, I got JRF. There is no need of that. If you are JRF once, to whom you are proving again and again? To yourself, why? Last time you got JRF, right? So whether you are not confident that you have got JRF or you think that you, you just got JRF by luck, that's why you are giving it again. That should not be the thing. You have got JRF end of the story okay you should focus on other things now you should focus on either if you want to do phd or not that's other thing but getting or you know sitting for the exam again and again and you know of course like see you have experience right you have already given jrf you already you have already proved yourself you will again sit for the exam you already know how to tackle the exam and of course you won't be having exam pressure that time you know how to solve question how the interface will be there Compare yourself to the person who is giving the exam for the first time. For that person, it will be totally new experience. He will be panicked. He will be under pressure. He does not know how the system responds. He does not know how the strategy is going to work. And you are one who has already qualified JRF. You are sitting in the exam confidently that, yes, I already have a JRF. And of course, you will be doing better than the last time because that's how you evolve, right? That's how if you already know about the conditions, you are not aware about that is some there's something called as uh, the fear of unknown that you don't have, right? You know already the thing. So, you know that. So it will be easy for you, but it won't be easy for the person who is sitting for the first time. So, please be respectful for that. At least remember the time when you were sitting for the exam for the first time and don't give this exam multiple times. I have been telling this every time, every single time in exam. I'm not saying that because of, uh, because directly because of this, uh, that people who have given multiple number of times because of them the cutoff went high i'm not saying that directly okay like as i said there are both the factors which are affecting the number of seat has decreased and secondly uh, there are multiple repetitive people who have been sitting in the exam and who are qualifying the rf because of them as i said if let's say the person who has got 8.5 marks already had jrf for my example which i have given for 10 marks let's say the person who has got 8.5 marks already had a jrf and there were only two seats for jrf so one nine marker student is going to get JRF and one 8.5 who already had JRF and he is not going to use the second JRF again because you can use the JRF award letter just once to get your fellowship. You cannot use it multiple times. If you have three JRF award letters, the other two are of no use. You only need one of them, okay, to get the fellowship. So 
it is totally illogical to sit for the exam again and again and keep qualifying JRF and writing down in your profile that I am five times JRF, three times JRF, doesn't matter. Okay. If you want to prove yourself, sit in other exams now. You have qualified JRF, sit for UPSC, Geoscientist, sit for GATE. GATE is something where you can give multiple times. There is rank base. You can improve your rank. Okay. You can sit in GATE. I have never complained about that. Okay. You can give multiple times gate exam. You can keep improving your rank. That is good for you. But we are the limited, the, the number of seats are limited in CSIR JRF. It's my request to everyone who has qualified this time or who has qualified earlier also. Please don't sit for the exam for the next time. It's not, see, both the things are there. Okay. It's also for the student who is giving this exam. For the first time and also this is for you why you are wasting your time your energy your knowledge to test yourself on the same exam which you have already passed upon right so that these two are according to me these two are the major reasons why the cutoff went this much higher and uh, yes um, there are many you know uh, many things which we can say we can talk about but these two are the major reasons according to me because of which this happened now uh, i know that many students who have missed this exam who have got good score like 106 105 marks and still they don't have even net net they have not even qualified net ls so yeah see it's not that um, you are not capable about it or you are you are not capable to qualify this exam it's just like it's a bad luck you can say that this time cutoff went high and the seats were decreased um can we protest about it can we you know um, revert the result now that is not going to happen i have discussed about this with many teachers and people around me i have also discussed about with this about this with people in csir so like not the organizing committee of course but yeah known people so the thing is that result can't be changed or it is it can't be reverted okay that is not going to happen number of seats this time is decreased we don't know the next time okay but yes we are going to we have already asked csir to at least uh, like tell the students while applying for the exam that how many seats you have for this semester or for this particular exam cycle that will be a good you know initiative and with that people will be already aware about that how the cutoff can go and they can perform better right so that is something which we are working upon we have written that to csir as well we are waiting for their response let's see how they respond to that but yeah that's what our ask is that csir should at least announce that how many seats they are having before you know when when the exam notice comes they should announce that okay this this exam cycle we are going to take these many jrf for these many students that will be easy that will be like easier for the students as well to understand about that okay so yeah that's all for this video and i wanted to make this video i don't know uh, if i have you know offended anyone i'm really sorry for that but please please understand what i have said i think if you will you know if you will understand it properly you will you will get to know that yes things are like whatever i said are making sense and um, yeah please be supportive to the students who are preparing or who are giving this exam for the first time right so that's all for this video and i will see you guys in the next one very soon take care and don't get disheartened those who have missed the cutoff by just few marks i know this is disheartening actually this is disappointing actually but you can just consider it as a bad luck okay that's that's all you can do right now there is no other option okay and uh, losing your uh, motivation or getting demotivated is not going to help you in any way so it's better to stay motivated and focus on other things around right focus on gate focus on the upcoming exam right so that i probably will discuss in a separate video about that so that's all from my side for this video take care bye bye and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care